on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. If you're just joining us, we are already underway. Gets into a dangerous position. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. <laughs> Lovely bit of skill. And that's sprayed out wide. Plays it over to the other flank. to get it forward quickly. In comes the cross. And he just whacks it away. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Can he deliver? It's one! And the ball's come out! Plenty waiting in the middle. Surely, chooses to go back. Chance! And he's there to clear it. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Hoists it for... He's gone for it! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Looking to break out here. It's being played forward. Big chance! A potential goal of the season contender. If only. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. Chance to play it in. He's had a shot! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross.
Over to the left. Oh, some clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. And how does that work? And it's the whistle for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So there was the first half. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at at the very end and I get the feeling the second half may well start in in similar fashion as we'd love to see this momentum maintained so I'm looking forward to what's to come interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break <laughs> tries a shot <laughs> Simplicity itself. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass, that's what happens. Huddersfield break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, what a ball! Shapes to shoot! Out to the right. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening. Thanks. Up he gets! Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Monicello simply took an age to make his mind up, Peter, when urgency was the, the single requirement. Your impression so far, Jim? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. That could spell trouble. He's got options out wide. And that is going out for a goal kick. And he checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Finds himself eased off the ball. Plays it out to the flank. And helps available out wide. There are a few waiting for it. Into the box. And it's hoisted clear. Played out to the right. Heads it! Oh, not the best of headers. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Huddersfield making consecutive changes here. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. So who's he picking out?
There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it's played forward. Plays it out to the wing. The message is clear, none shall pass. Well waited. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. They've played it short. How about a shot? Goes for goal! And this is getting better and better. Now, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Huddersfield could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. Hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Four added minutes on the board. Out to the left it goes. He's got away. Time to deliver. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And the referee brings it to a close. Huddersfield away with the win. A job really well done in all departments. A real some of the parts team effort. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. So just